So in this section of the workshop, we will try to remove duplicate items. Okay, so let me explain what duplicates are. First, let's ensure that there are duplicates in the data. So what I'm doing at the, at, at the, at the, at the start is basically I'm loading. So remember, I have about 28K data points at this point of time. And most recently, if, if you recall, I've stored my 28K products data into a pickle file called 28 under, 28k underscore apple underscore data. So this is a file that is on your disk, on your hard disk basically, right? In the pickles folder. Now you can download all of these pickle files from the Google Drive. So from the Google Drive folder that I gave, that I shared with you earlier, uh, at, at the start of the course, uh, at the start of this workshop, you can actually download all of these, all of these uh, pickle files from there. So what that lets you do is you can start from any stage of the workshop. You can literally start from this stage. All you have to do is you have to run the import statements. You basically have to run all of our import statements and you can start from this stage because whatever variable that we stored on disk, the 28K April data, now I can load it from disk to, to RAM into my variable called data, right? This is, this is the power of uh, pickle files and just reading a pickle file from disk is very simple. It's pandas dot read underscore pickle right so you can start from any stage by just running the import statements at the start that we saw and then you can just load the corresponding appropriate pickle file and start it from here right now i'm loading the pickle file from previous stage once i've loaded the pickle file i have a very fundamental question the question that i have here is find the number of products that have duplicate titles i have a suspicion that some of the some of these products have exactly the same title. Now I want to find how many products have duplicate titles, right? Because if you have duplicate titles, it's not very helpful, right? Because as I told you, we will use title as one of our most important sources of data, because just to repeat myself, it is short, informative, and it's mostly present. We saw this in the previous section, right? It's mostly present. It's absent or it's it's non non-existent only I think for none of the for none of the products of the 183k products, right? So how, how do we find duplicate titles? It's again very simple. This is this is the part of Python because Python has all these powerful libraries and packages, right? So there is a function called duplicated which can run on which, which is a function for pandas data frame. Now this data variable is actually a pandas data frame variable right so for a pandas data frame variable you have a function called duplicated which tells you okay for those of you who don't know duplicated function one thing that we all should do whenever there is a function that you do not know is to google it up when you google up so let me just show you let me just show you so that it's easier for you so i'm actually going to google right now and i'm saying pandas data frame uh, duplicated right so as soon as I do that, I get my first result here is basically the documentation. So when I go to the documentation here, it clearly says that it returns a Boolean series denoting duplicate rows, right? And I can exactly tell it which column, on which column I want to find duplicates. It is extremely important for you to understand function documentations and read function documentations whenever possible, because that gives you a complete understanding of the functions we are using. And you're not limited just to the functions that we explain in this in this workshop. Okay, so coming back to our talk, discussion here. So data dot duplicated title basically it gives me a boolean vector. It gives me things like true, false, true, false, false, false. So it gives me true whenever there is a row whose title is duplicate. Okay, if it is duplicate, it will give me true. If it is not duplicate, if it is not duplicate it returns me a false, right? Now, if I sum up all of them, because true can be considered as one and false can be considered as zero internally. If I just sum up all of them, I get a value of 2,325, which means, what it means is, there are 2,325 out of 28K products, because we're operating on only 28K products right now, okay, which have duplicate titles. Okay, now I wanted to show you an example. So what I've done here is I've downloaded some of these images. By the way, all these images you can find in the dedupe folder on our Google Drive, right? So 
in the folder that you downloaded, there's a dedupe folder where these images are explicitly stored. Because we actually went through a lot of images to find those products which have exactly same title but are slightly different. And how do you know the product is exactly same? By looking at the images, right? It's extremely simple to do it. So for example, the, these are four products. Each of them have a different ASIN. So this, this is your ASIN. This is your Amazon standard identification number. If you look at it, all these four products have different ASINs, but they're exactly the same product, except that this is small, this is medium, this is large, and this is Excel. Because Amazon wants to give a unique number, even when the sizes are different, because they'll have to use this ASIN number to track inventory in, the, in their warehouses, right? That's why this is exactly the same product, but in different sizes. Now, for example, one problem, we want, we want to remove duplicates like this. Otherwise, what will happen is if I give this as my if I give this as my first image and if I say so suppose if I give this as my product and if I say find similar products using title. OK, so this is called a query image. OK, let's call this a query image or a query product. OK, so given a query product, given a query product, we want to find similar products. Now, if I have exact duplicates like this, let's assume we are using title. We are using, let's assume we are using title to determine this. Then the problem is this. When I give this product as a query, I will end up getting this product, this product, and this product as the most similar products because the titles are exactly the same, which is, which is, which is not what I want. Because imagine if a, if, if a customer is on my website, if he's looking at the small size of a product, okay, and if I want to recommend him other products, if I recommend him medium of the exactly same product, large of exactly the same product, Excel of exactly the same product, it's, it's a very, very bad customer experience. And hence, to avoid this bad customer experience, because this is not what the customer wants. Because if the customer is actually checking out a small sized shirt, there is a very high chance he really does not care about medium, large or Excel, right? So to avoid this problem, we want to remove duplicates. We'll remove duplicates in the next section. Right now, we're just understanding that there are duplicates. Again, there are, uh, here, here is another very interesting example. These are four products with different ASINs, as you would notice. All these four products have the exact same title. They have the exact same title. But instead of differing in size, they differ in product color. They're exactly the same product. They're made by the same manufacturer. They're, they're the same brand, except that they're four different colors, blue, light green, pink, and orange. Okay, so you also have cases like this where products have exactly the same title with a slightly different color, right? We want to even remove things like this because when somebody is searching for, of course, when somebody is, if this is my query image, if this is my query image, giving exactly the same product in a slightly different color is not the best suggestion or recommendation we can give, right? Um, sometimes it may be, but most often it's not, okay? So having said that, Let's, 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 so the most important takeaway is in our data, there are many duplicates like the examples above, and we need to dedupe. Deduping basically means removing duplicates so that, so that we can do better recommendations of products for our customers. We'll see how to dedupe in two, in the next two sections.